So this video is about how you can create a navigation bar in Android Studio. After deleting the default text view, change the parent layout to relative layout. Now create a layout called draw layout. Put the previously created relative layout inside the draw layout as shown. You can use the same attributes of the relative layout for the draw layout too. Add another attribute called Android orientation and make it vertical. Go into app gradle which is present in the gradle scripts file. Copy paste the line that I have copy pasted and in the copy pasted line change the app compat v7 to design. After doing this, click on sync now. Go back to the XML file and under the draw layout, create another widget called navigation view. Give an ID to this widget called nav view. another attribute called layout gravity and give it start. To create the top portion of the navigation bar, we need to create a new XML file. To do that, right click on the layout folder and click on new, new resource file. Name the file navigation underscore header. Let the parent layout be linear layout. Change the height to wrap content. Set the gravity to center. You can set the background to anything, but in this case I've set it to color primary dark. Now in order to use the icons provided by Android Studio, do the following. Right click on the drawable folder, click on new and click on vector asset. For this example, we'll just use the Android icon. Click on next and then click on finish. Now, in order to actually use the icon, create an image view. Set the width and height to wrap content. Set the background of the image view to the icon you have just created. Change the width and height to match your needs. Just to make it look better, I have given a margin bottom and margin top as 15 dp. Apply the navigation header, set the header layout attribute to the file you have just created. The other main component of the navigation bar would be the menu items. First right click on res, click on new and click on directory. Name the directory menu. Right click on the menu folder, click on new and click on menu resource file. Name this file navigation underscore menu. Go to the text part of the XML document and create an item. Give each item three attributes. The first attribute will be the ID. The second will be the title. The title contains a string which will be displayed in the actual menu. And the third is the icon. The number of menu items you want in the navigation bar 
that many items you will have in this file. Here I have three items, the first one being my profile, the second one settings and the third edit profile. Give each item any ID you want. And as for the icon attribute, create icons as was shown before and add it to the icon attribute. As you can see, the three menu items pop up on the preview. To add the menu items to the navigation bar, create another attribute called app colon menu and set the menu file to the file you just created. Create global variables for the raw layout and action bar draw toggle. Reference the draw layout variable using the ID you have given it. Now type this exact same line. ABDT, the variable that you have given for the action bar draw toggle is equal to new action bar draw toggle in brackets give this as the first argument that is the context comma dl that is the variable you are given for draw layout and the third argument would be open a string open and the fourth argument would be close in order to omit these errors you open the strings.xml file and create two string names called open and close Replace the two strings open and close with r.string.open and r.string.close. Set abdt.set draw indicator enabled to true. dl.add draw listener and in brackets type abdt. abdt.sync state. Outside the onCreate method, type ON capital OP, go to the drop down menu and select on options item selected and click enter. Modify the return statement as shown. Create a variable nav view of the navigation view data type and reference it. Nav view dot set navigation item selected listener in brackets new navigation view dot on navigation item selected listener open close the bracket click on the arrow that's popping up and click on alt enter you can see that the on navigation item selected method is created inside this is basically to provide on click listeners for each menu item Create an integer variable called id and set it to item.getItemID. These are small errors that I had made in the navigation menu.xml file. Have a if statement. If id is equal to equal to r.id.myProfile. 
My profile is the ID that I have given to the first menu item. Inside this if statement, I'm I'm displaying a toast. So when the user clicks on the first menu item, a toast will be displayed. Likewise for the other menu items. One last statement, get support action bar dot set display home up as enabled to true. Now it's all set up for the app to run. As you can see on the top left corner, the navigation button is present. Once you click on it, the navigation bar opens up. Here you can see the navigation header as well as the three menu items we had mentioned. Once we click one of these menu items, we can see that the door is displayed. That's it. If you like it, please hit like and subscribe for more.